Bizim inancımıza göre, tevhid ve sünnete göre, şeriattan bahsettiğimize göre, Allah'ın kanunlarına göre oy kullanmak şirktir abi. Oy kullanan bir insan kafir olur bize göre, bizim inancımıza göre müşrik olur. You are saying something without knowledge, you don't know. Brothers and sisters, just imagine for a second that you give 10 pounds in donation and that 10 pounds is used to buy food or bricks or whatever to help the people in Gaza. But then just imagine this amazing deed that you want to do, but we turn it into a money-making machine. How? They take your money and the money that we are going to put in, in this waqf, this building, and every single time the money generated from that waqf, that building, is going to go to our Palestinian brothers and sisters for the next 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100, 150 years. And this will be a form of true Sadaqa Jariya. Click the link below and donate. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends Ramadan Mubarak hope you guys are having an amazing time this is the month of the year that you get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than you could ever be before this is my 11th year of Ramadan brothers and sisters right now today I'm going to be doing a live appeal for our uh, and we're doing an open Q&A for Ramadan prepare for us go to the live inshallah we're going to be live today and many other days inshallah join us and get involved we'll go through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names reading the Quran, Hadith, water challenge I'll do ice bath challenge if people donate to allow us to teach people how to pray salah Let's get straight into the video, inshallah. People are going to watch. I've been meaning to do a reaction video for a long time. He seems like a young man. A lot of people think he's related to me. He's my cousin or something. Or Mini Ali Dawa, whatever you want to call that for that matter. Let's watch this video, alhamdulillah, because I'm, I'm going to be honest, alhamdulillah. There's so many beautiful character traits about him that you've seen this video. But sadly, there are some dangerous things that he says, even though people don't really realize. But we'll dissect that, inshallah. So um, I love him for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless him. He seems like he is Kurdish from his accent. I can see, like, you know, Turks and Kurds look alike, but he seems like he's Kurdish himself, uh, or he might be Syrian, I don't know for that matter. But let's listen to the video, inshallah, and let's see what he has to say and his reaction to that girl who tries to interrupt him. Let's see. Şeriat Allah'ın kanunlarıdır. Allah'ın anayasasıdır. Abi biz hayatımızı ona teslim etmemiz lazım. Allah'ın kanunlarına teslim etmemiz lazım. Mesela siz daha yeni insanlara soruyordunuz. Yarın seçim olursa kime oy verirsiniz diye. Bu konu hakkında benim cevabım şudur abi. Bizim inancımıza göre, tevhid ve sünnete göre, şeriattan bahsettiğimize göre, Allah'ın kanunlarına göre oy kullanmak şirktir abi. Oy kullanan bir insan kafir olur bize göre. Bizim inancımıza göre müşrik olur. Niye müşrik olur? Sana kısa anlatayım abi sonra sözü size bırakayım örneğin sana bir soru sorayım biz namazı kime kılarız Allah'a kılarız bir kişi namazı Allah'tan başkasına kılarsa kafir olur mu bir kişi namazı Allah'tan başkasına kılarsa Allah'a şir koşar kafir olur mu çünkü ne yaptı Allah'a şir koştu şirk nedir ortaklık demekti peki bir soru daha sorayım sana abi şimdi hamd kelimesi var ya hamd bir kişi dese ki Allah hamdı hak ediyor ama ben babam da hamdı hak ediyor dese o kişi Allah'a şir koşar mı peki Erdoğan oy veren bizden değildir. Allah He? var yukarıda Allah. Allah diyor ki Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin. Fatiha suresinde söylüyor bunu. Hamd alemlere Rabbi olan Allah'a mahsustur. O kadar doğru Allah ki eğer Türkiye bu çocukları bu hale getirdiyse gerisini de Recep Tayyip Erdoğan düşünsün. So just wanna stop there. I don't know what that woman was talking about. First she was like so she said at the beginning anyone that votes for Tayyip Erdoğan, Recep Tayyip Erdoğan is not one of us and she says there is Allah above us. So she's saying, fear God, like don't vote for Erdogan, okay? And then she says, okay, it seems like she's talking against him, but she goes, this boy is talking so much truth, saying, this boy is speaking so much truth, but if Turkey has made this boy the way he is, Recep Tayyip Erdogan then something to do with Recep Tayyip Erdogan blame. Like, I don't know if she's praising him, I don't know if she's cutting him, I don't know if she's doing indirect, I have no idea what she's talking about. Um, uh, maybe she's on a menstrual cycle, I don't know. I, I believe she, she made absolutely no sense. I'm not trying to be rude. I, I don't know what she's, I don't know if she's praising him, having a go at him. I don't know for that matter. But let's, let's, let's carry on to get, like, I, I even like the fact that there's one thing that you see that, alhamdulillah, he doesn't look at her. Yeah, alhamdulillah, so it shows that he has a deep, innate, uh, alhamdulillah, connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he lowers his gaze, which is very important, brothers, at this time in Ramadan. It's a reminder to myself first. It's one of the big, biggest weaknesses for us men, but the fact that he didn't even look her way. So I really commend him for that. And I love his zeal and his his love for the deen. It really, really, I'll be honest with you, it, it amazes me. When I see young people who have this zeal for the deen, where like, I love that. Uh, but there's a few things he says which, trouble, which troubling, but let's carry on, inshallah. Allah, Allah, bu hakkı kendinde olduğunu söylüyor abi. Bu hak, dedik ki Allah'a olan bir vasfı Allah'tan başkasına veren bir insan kafir olur, dedik ya. E şimdi gelelim hükümet konusuna bak. Allah diyor ki, Kur'an'da, Allah Yusuf Suresi 40'da diyor ki, İnnel hükmü illa lillah. Hüküm yalnızca Allah'a aittir. Devamında ise diyor ki o kendisinden başka kimseye ibadet etmemenizi emretti. İlk önce 
hüküm kelimesini söylüyor sonra ibadeti vurgu yapıyor. Demek ki anlıyoruz ki hüküm ibadettir. Tamam mı abi? Başka Kehir suresi 26. ayette Allah diyor ki ve la yushriku fi hukmihi ahada. Allah hükmünde kimseyi ortak kabul etmez. Ve Allah bazı ayetlerinde de hüküm hüküm hep hüküm diyor. İbadeti kendisinde olduğunu söylüyor. Hüküm bir ibadettir. E biz dedik ki nasıl ki namazı Allah'tan başkasına bir insan kılarsa hamd Allah'tan başkasına bir kişi verirse kafir olur dedik. E hüküm de Allah ibadet diyor. E biz hakimiyet hüküm hakkını alıp beşere verdiğimiz zaman bize bu ayetlere göre kafir olmuş olmuyor muyuz sizce? Mesela Tevbe suresi 31'de Allah diyor ki onlar Allah'ı bırakıp da din bilginlerini, abidlerini ve Meryem oğlu Mesih'i Rabler edindiler. Peygamber bu ayeti okuduğu zaman Adi bin Hatem diye birisi var gelip diyor ki ey Allah'ın Resulü biz onları Rab edinmedik ki. Allah Resulü de diyor ki onlar Allah'ın helali haram haramını da helal yaptılar. Siz de onlara uydunuz, itaat ettiniz. İşte bu sizin onlara ibadetinizdir. Okay, so uh, like I said before, alhamdulillah, he made some really good points, etc. You know, I love the zeal for his deen, uh, but this point of saying that to vote in a democratic state or to get involved in voting makes you a mushrik or a kafir is absolutely, uh, it is not true. Uh, yes, there are some people who might hold that opinion, but to say that there is bil ijma, that there is absolute consensus, that e, myself as a Muslim, and I look at two parties, let's say, Labour and Conservative, yeah? And even now, I, I believe that there's no, I believe... Not to vote, it's better not to vote. Not because of the shirk element, I just believe it does nothing. Uh, that's what I believe personally. I, I had a, I held a different opinion before, but you can see it doesn't really mean anything, yeah? But again, for those who believe that, for example, the hukum, that rule, uh, governorship and rulership for, uh, is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no Muslim will ever disagree with that. Any Muslim that says, I prefer democracy of the Sharia is a kafir. Yes, but he's not saying that. He's saying anybody that votes, yeah? So this is where the problematic uh, issue comes because he's making it seem as if anybody votes, like for example, if we have two candidates, one is going to make the lives of Muslims easier, yes? Or it's a gradual process for us to have better rights as Muslims in, in, uh, in, in the UK, whatever for that matter. And if Muslims have that power to get rid of these individuals, 100% in Islam, we look at the lesser of two evils, how to avert evil. Like the Prophet peace be upon him said, the lowest form of iman is to take something harmful out of the way. So we are looking at holistically the harmful things. So as long as as Muslims we know, we want the Sharia. That is what we want. That is what we love. Period. But we are getting involved in this democratic election not because we believe that they should govern above Allah's law. Never. But the fact that we are looking at the lesser of two evils. Sheikh Albani, even Sheikh Albani, he did not say it is kufr, but he said it's haram. Sheikh Wasiyullah Abbas, he's and many other uh, scholars, if I'm, not, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember Sheikh Salah Al-Fawzan or if I mean, I can't remember, one of them as well. They said in a situation where the Muslims are facing, where they have the lesser of two harms, they have to get involved. Yes, two, our job is to what? So he quotes Yusuf alayhi salam, uh, uh, Surah Yusuf, yeah? It's very ironic because Yusuf alayhi salam was the governor of a leader. He was a governor under rulership, not under Sharia. Why? Because obviously if him doing that was better than somebody else, him governing and as a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so it is better and a gradual process. Like for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he talks about the Sahaba drinking alcohol, it's a gradual process. Yes, we're talking about Tawheed and that alcohol is different. I understand that. The point is what? We cannot come and say that anybody that votes it becomes a kafir. Because of this people, this is this is an extreme view a lot of brothers, some brothers hold, which it can be the opinion. That's good. But to now negate the other side and say the kafir, that's another thing. And another thing is for that matter is for example ignorance. There might be people who there are people who are ignorant, they might not know. So you cannot come and see somebody who's bowing down to something and you have to ask them do you understand what are you doing here is a form of ibadah it's a form of worship and you're doing it to uh, treat are you doing it you need to clarify ask him does he know yes so there's so many elements the way this young boy is talking like i said i love his zealousness i love the the, the love he has for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the deen tawheed i understand but what he's saying is sadly battle not true it is not true if he holds that opinion he can but then you're going to do mass takfir that means everybody in turkey all the muslim nations who are involved in uh, democracy, um, they are all kufar. Everyone's a kafir. It's a chain reaction of, uh, uh, uh, you know, chain to kafir. Yes, uh, this person, if he does that, is a kafir. Therefore, they do it. They are all kafir. Their halal, uh, their, uh, their um, blood is halal, and the chain reaction continues. So, for him to declare, there's millions of Muslims in Turkey who know that hukum is for Allah subhanahu wa taala, and they prefer the Sharia, but they are doing uh, voting because they believe Erdogan is a better candidate than before. Because before you cannot wear hijabs, etc. They are like, rather we have him in power than have some scumbag, etc. And again, look, I'm not a fan of Erdogan at all, yes, uh, with the treatment of the Kurds and what's going on, etc. I'll be very, very clear for that matter, at all, yes, what the Kurds are persecution going on 
Uh, I'm not a fan of Turkey. And a lot of people talk about Palestinians, and we should. But sadly, Turkey doesn't seem to the Kurds, you know. Uh, not in the same manner, but still. So this is very important for us to touch upon. So I would say in a nutshell that this is why we should be careful. The young people, to please do not talk about matters that is above your head. This is the biggest phenomenon. We have young people, zealous, who love the deen, talking the matters of halal and haram. And then he talks about the companion who, when he asked, he mentioned that, yeah? Uh, uh, um, I forgot his name, yeah? Uh, Adi ibn Abu Balta, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and he said, oh, uh, uh, Meshwala, and he said that um, they used to make halal haram. Yes, because he said, did you not take them when they used to worship your rabbis? He said, how did we, we never worshiped our rabbis. He said, did you not take what they said, halal is halal and haram is haram? He said, yeah, and that's how you used to worship them. Well, then if you look at the matter now, this young boy, he's falling into this. Why? Because he's now talking about matters of halal and haram. And it is a big, big sin, major sin. On the levels of shirk, it's, it's, it's, it's like doing, um, like doing istihlal. What is halal haram? Why? Because you're talking without knowledge. You're saying something without knowledge. You don't know. You are caught in a few eyes here and there, and then you're talking without knowledge. My brother, I love you. May Allah bless you. I love your deen. I love the way you carry yourself, lowering your gaze, the love for the deen. But don't talk, don't f talk about matters that is way above your head, inshallah. So many people who watch this and love them, I love him as well. It's Ramadan and may Allah preserve him and may give him a better understanding of the religion, a better understanding, a beneficial knowledge, not just any knowledge, inshallah, and protect him against shaitan. May Allah make him a scholar. Uh, wallah, that's all I say, inshallah. But brothers and sisters, please, let, let's be very careful, uh, inshallah, um, watching these uh, videos, inspirational videos. But at the same time, what the message is saying is dangerous and he should not fall into something that he's warning us against. Uh, till next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Goodbye.